What's up YouTube? We are back. Um, I told you guys that I would give you a little video of my boat just so you have an idea of what me and my buddy run while we're out on the water. Uh, so here it is. <clears throat> I run a 2015 Mercury Bass Tracker Pro 160, the 16 foot aluminum hull. Um, like I said, 2015, so it's still very, very new. Uh, sports steering wheel. All the fun stuff. Um, I do have a live well and all that shit on here, which is currently full of salt armor boxes, lucky tackle box, and another tackle box because we don't keep our fish. We are purely fishing for fun and, well, I guess a little bit of sport, but we don't keep anything, so the live well rarely gets used. Um, <clears throat> I went with, unfortunately, all... Like, well, I say oh, like 99% of bass trackers have to come in red, which unfortunately I couldn't really avoid. Um, I do have upgrade uh, brake lights. These are all LED lights on this thing. So I upgraded all those. That was actually super cheap. It comes in a kit. It takes like five seconds to swap them out. So I'm running the Mercury four-stroke 25 horsepower, which is plenty uh, for me and my buddies. It does probably 25 miles an hour for the most part. So I do have the Minn Kota 45 pound thrust trolling motor on here. Um, it came with this boat, so it's already all on the setup. The quick release, you just flop it right over the side, grab that little handle and rip it back over. Um, this is my main rod. Let me get a little bit more over here. This is my main setup. The Hyperion from Six Gill Fishing. Get, fucking wasp. You want to play a game, son? Uh, you made me almost break my own tail light. Um, so here is the Hyperion uh, dual brake systems. Rule the depths. Uh, I did go for the cork handles on mine. My buddy Chicha left those off. My Tatula, uh, 610 medium heavy. And uh, this is a really good rod and reel setup. Super lightweight. Um, the balance is great on these. I mean, they're not a whole lot of give at all, but that's my main setup. Just toss that back in there. And this is what my buddy runs. My buddy is sitting on the Creus reel, which is literally the same thing, uh, one less ball bearing, so it's just a little cheaper. <clears throat> and then we got this little cheap Bass Pro set up down here on the uh, Abu pole down there. Um, don't really use that a whole lot. And this is my massive flambo tackle box, um, which I have noticed is uh, not a whole lot in comparison to some of my fishing buddies. I mean, they're loaded, so multiple salt, salt armor boxes. I mean, these things come every single month with a uh, salt armor tackle subscription, so those are great. <laughs> got a bunch of Yamamoto baits hidden all in here. and Back here we got uh, cranks and spinners and all that crap. And then uh, down here we've got a couple extra tackle boxes. There's uh, more worms and uh, most of our hooks, weights, and all that crap is down there. So, I mean, that's really it. It's not a whole lot. It's not huge. It's not.